Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Ali DeAndrea and today I'm going to be talking all about my kayak fishing setup. I wanted to create an updated version because I got a new boat if you will, a new kayak. I'll be talking through all of the gear that I have on it specifically for fishing and a little bit about what you should look for in a fishing kayak or you know, hybrid paddle board yourself. So this is the Vibe Kubera 120. This boat is 12 feet long, 33 and a half inches wide and weighs about 72 pounds. So when you're looking at those specs for a kayak, just know that the longer the boat is, typically the more stable it is. So anything in that like 12 to 13 range is going to be extremely stable. Same thing is true for the width. The wider the board is, the more stable it will be. And at 33 and a half inches, that's quite a wide, stable boat. And the same is true for weight. The heavier the boat is, typically the more stable it is. So these dimensions make this Kubera a perfect platform or base for fishing. Because when it comes to fishing, stability is everything. You want to be able to stand up to sight the fish. If you're casting a heavy fly or a heavy mullet, whatever it may be, you need that stability. There are a ton of features packed into this kayak that are specific for fishing. So let me pull you in and show you some of those right now. So let's start up in the front. So one of the most important things with fishing kayaks specifically is having a lot of places to attach things. And you'll see a little bit of that as we go. Uh, but starting in the front, you have, of course, a handle. There are actually five handles on this. You've got one in the front. You have two on either side. This nice like hidden handle in the middle, which I really like. That's a very functional spot for when you're carrying it sideways. And then you have one in the back here. So handles are important and then places to put things. So there are bungee straps here. So I'll sometimes throw like an extra small tackle box in there. But the other great thing about this, if you don't like the bungee cords, you can remove them. There's just a quick clip up here in the front so you can take them off. But what's even more important are all of these little like D-rings that are all around because you can clip like a carabiner to them if you need to attach something. Moving on down, we've got a track right here for gear. So I have a GoPro mount set up so that I can film myself while I'm fishing. But of course you can use that gear track for anything, including a rod holder. So this rod holder is this, I've had this for so long now and I really love it. Sometimes I'll even ride with two, like one on each side. I'll include a link to everything in the description box down below. So all of these little pieces and parts as well as information on the boat and everything. So if you want more info, you can check the description box down there. But these little rod holders are great. With just a quick twist, you can move it along the track and set it in the exact position that you want and then they just pop right on. I like to push mine pretty far forward in the track like this way just because when I'm actually on the boat if it's too far back then it starts getting in my way. Um, and there is another gear track on that side. Right here is a little secret spot to put some gear. I will warn you though I found that this isn't completely waterproof, so I wouldn't put any gear in there that can't get wet. But it is a nice spot to throw things if you need you know, an extra secure spot that it's not gonna fly off your paddleboard. Moving on down, we have, I guess I'll talk a little bit about this, uh, which might not seem like you know, a standout feature, but this black material, this deck on here is no slip. And it's so great. You, like the name says, you know, you won't slip. I have my leash. So this goes around my ankle, keeps me attached to the board in case I go over, I'm not gonna lose my board. Over here, I have a pair of like 
fish grabbers, I'll call them. These float and I like to have them in a easy to reach spot so they're always right by my feet. Then I've got, this is what I was talking about earlier like with a carabiner. I have this carabiner uh, paddle leash attached to my paddle. And on both sides, there is a little bungee cord that slides right around the paddle to keep that paddle secure. And there is one on the other side as well. Now this might be the star of the show other than, you know, the board itself, of course. This is the summit seat. So it has four or five different seating configurations based on your comfort. And you can stand on this platform or sit on top of it. So that's kind of like the fifth seat. You get an extra 16 inches off the water with this summit seat. And that is huge for sight fishing. And then it's got this nifty little gear tray underneath. So I typically have a tackle box in there. It's the perfect, most convenient spot for it. I absolutely love that. Moving back, there are of course more attachment points. So these ones in particular are great if you use a cooler as a seat, which I used to do before this summit seat. Occasionally I still will because it's nice to have a cooler full of ice if I'm planning on fishing for fish that I want to keep. But just know that you have the versatility of a lot of different seat options, including a cooler. And there are a lot of tie down points for that. Here I have my beloved milk crate. I love the milk crate because I can just toss whatever I want in there. These bungee quick clips make it so easy to attach very quick. That's definitely a feature that is improved over the Maverick. And there are gear tracks on both sides back here as well. So in my bucket, because I'm fishing saltwater, I've been using a cast net lately. Um, honestly, I'm not super great with it. It's still something that I'm learning and figuring out, but I like to have a cast net on board. Of course, my life jacket, I have a whistle on there as well. These are some extra little gear tracks if you need extra tie down points. I used to use these on the Maverick a lot, but I find that the Kubera has so many places to attach things that I haven't really needed these, but I still keep them in case I ever want them. I have a pair of pliers, and this is attached to my milk crate using these things. So I bought these on Amazon, and they are fabulous for connecting small pieces of gear, just like those pliers, to your board so that if you do take a tumble and your board flips over, you're not going to lose all of your gear. Like my cast net, for example, would go flying to the bottom of the ocean or the inlet or the river and I would never get it back. Speaking of that, I'm getting super hot and sweaty because it is hot in this Florida garage, but I was fishing the other day and I had my anchor set out and it got caught under something and was so stuck that I had to let my anchor go. I felt like the Titanic when Rose lets go of Jack and lets him drift off into the ocean. If I was really skilled, I probably could have dove down and actually unhooked it myself, but I'm not that much of a pro in the salt water yet. <laughs> I was in the inlet fishing and I think there was just some kind of cement. I was fishing underneath a bridge. There's just some kind of like cement rock something and it just got wedged in there. But an anchor is another piece of gear that I highly recommend because the current just pulls you around like crazy. The wind pushes you around. It really bullies you. So if you're in a, oh, got it fixed. So if you're in a spot where the fishing is good or that you really want to take your time and pick apart, an anchor can make all of the difference. We have more bungees, more gear tracks, like hello, so many great places to attach gear. Normally I slip my shoes back here because I like to be on my paddleboard barefoot. And last but not least, you'll see there are four holes drilled here. That is for a Bixby or a power pool. So you have those connection options with the Kubera. Look at how good it looks. Damn. So that is it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave so that you don't miss out on any future videos. And make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I will see you guys in the next one.